Hello, Simon again, and I'm back making more videos for my Patreon backers. Today's questions uh, are about early access and whether I'd do early access again, what my thoughts on early access are, and kind of what our general experience with it was. So for us, early access has been quite problematic, specifically Steam early access. When I was running the Kickstarter, one of the things that I saw were people like Peter Molyneux and David Brabham and quite a lot of indies as well, turning up and making a lot of promises. And I'm very aware of when games developers make promises that I'm not entirely sure they're going to keep. And so I said, if I'm going to promise something, I'm going to keep that promise. The problem was I promised a release date for Steam, early access, for an alpha build, and this was a massive mistake. Um, there's one thing that you never need to promise, and that's in dates. And you never need to keep the promise of a date, because anyone who's reasonable will always understand that you know a game needs another three months, another two months polish, or whatever. But I stuck to the, my date, and as such, the game was nowhere near ready. It was still in a very early alpha stage, which technically should be all right because it's alpha access and people should read and understand that. Um, but of course they didn't. And what we had was a lot of people jumping on early with very esoteric setups and people on Intel 3000s and other strange graphics cards and Mac OS uh, versions that were massively out of date or Linux builds that didn't have kind of standard libraries attached. And what this caused was just a, a massive backlog of support for me uh, to fix all these problems for all these hundreds of people, thousands of people in some cases. Um, and what happened is I spent months and months and months working on that and I've probably uh, it wasted perhaps a year um, just fixing these things for people who uh, shouldn't have ever bought the game anyway. But there was nothing we could do because there was no Steam refunds at this point. No public ones uh, that people could be pushed towards. So we'd just either get bad reviews or tons of problems in the forums. And so I eventually just, you know, every time I'd say, oh, I'm not fixing it for this person, I'd eventually go, okay, I'm, not, I'm just gonna fix it for this person. It's not worth the hassle anymore. And that effectively delayed the game massively. I estimated that had we spent another six months before we went into Steam Early Access, we would have shipped the game a year and a half ago. And like that's a, a genuine thing that like I've I figured out working on our time and things that delayed. Because things like getting the studio set up and things like that were all delayed because one, I was a bottleneck. Um, because obviously I'm the only person coding the game, but also bringing people on board to work on other jobs that were not support uh, became problematic. So I wouldn't do Steam Early Access again any, any way like this. I would certainly do Alpha Access. Um, we had a lot of success before going on Steam with people trying early builds on the forums and with the Mayor Members area. Um, if you can get 500 dedicated people, it's far better than 20,000 people who just want the game to work. Um, and with early access, I, like I, I feel that we would probably um, launch in beta, say, when we're just polishing up the few bugs and we want to check that it works on everyone's systems before the final release and we can get a few reviews. I certainly wouldn't be doing an early alpha again. And I think a lot of other devs have also kind of discovered this. Even large devs, um, you know, some of these really huge early access games have like stuck around in early access and not seem to make any progress, even though they've sold like millions of copies. Uh, they're, they're struggling to get their game shipped now. Um, so, yeah, I, I certainly think that Steam Early Access is going to change a lot and I can see a lot of developers just completely staying away from it soon and running their own alphas and just completely avoiding the Steam system because it's not a productive way to get feedback, which is exactly what you want in an alpha stage. So, yeah, um, it'll be interesting to see what, see what Steam do with Early Access if anything, 
because it is Valve after all. But I hope that answers your question. Uh, I will be back with another video soon. Back my Patreon and send me some questions. I'll see you later.